Hi everyone, this is Heather here with Treasured Hometown. I wanted to go over with you guys today how to create one of these lovely spring ponchos. This is actually a very easy design. It works off just the basis of a repeat of one row, but modified throughout the entire pattern to create the different aspects of this top. Love this top so much because it is so light. It makes for a perfect little spring top adding on. Allows plenty of airflow, but also yet gives you that little bit of extra warmth that you need in this in-between weather season. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a little thumbs up like. Let me know if you liked it or not right into the comments section. And if you have yet to subscribe, be sure to hit that little subscribe button and that bell notification next to it so you can get a heads up every time I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching. For this pattern, we'll need just a few basic supplies. I'm going to be using a three and a half millimeter crochet hook. We'll need a darning needle to weave in any ends. We'll need our scissors in order to cut our yarn. And for this, I will be using this yarn. It's called Yarn Bee by Yarn Bee. It's Yarn Topa. I'm using the color Ivory. This yarn is a number two weight fine yarn. Yes, it is a very fine, but it's also the weight of it. Just, I love it. <laughs> and just the feel of it is why I picked it. It is an acrylic yarn. And for this also, just for you to be able to check your gauge along the way, 18 inches and four rows will make you a four by four square. To begin this, we're gonna start off and we're gonna make a foundation chain. So create our slip knot and cast on 192 chains. So here we have our 192 chains made. From here we're going to chain two. Now if you look at your chain, here we have our normal front loops. And we're going to be working into this back bump of the chain. So we're going to yarn over, skip those first two chains, and we're going to double crochet into that third chain of the back bump. So we yarned over, go into the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through your first two loops, yarn over, and go through your last two loops. Now for this project, those first two chains do not count as a double crochet stitch. So we made our first double crochet stitch. Now we want to put seven more. Alright, so we made our seven more. We have a total of eight double crochet stitches made. Now from here, we want to chain six. And then we're going to skip our next six chains. And into that seventh chain into the back bump. We want to put one double crochet there and then one double crochet into your next eight stitches or next seven stitches. So eight all together. And then we want to chain six. Skip your next six chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twen
and then double crochet into that seventh chain and double crochet into your next eight or next seven chains There we made a total of eight double crochets. Now we want to chain six again. And then skip six. And then we want to double crochet into that seventh. And we want to double crochet from here. We want to double crochet into your next 26 stitches. So I've made two. Now we want to make a total of 27 double crochet stitches, one into each of the next stitches. Now from here we want to chain six. Skip your next six stitches and then double crochet once into your next eight stitches. And then chain six, skip your next six, and then double crochet once into your next 14 stitches. And then chain six. Skip your next six stitches. And then double crochet once into your next eight stitches. And then chain six, and 
And then we want to skip six. And then double crochet once into your next 27 stitches. Now from here we chain six, and then we skip six, and then double crochet once into your next eight stitches. And then chain six. Skip your next six. And then double crochet once into your next eight stitches. Then chain six, skip your next six stitches, and then double crochet once into remaining eight stitches. And there we are with the end of our base row for our poncho. Now for our repeat rows, they're actually quite simple coming from here. We chain two at the beginning of a round, which does not count as a stitch. And then we want to double crochet on top of our next eight stitches. So we start in the very first stitch. And then from here, we have a chain six space, so we chain six. And skip over the chain space, double crochet once into the top of your next eight double crochets from the previous row. Now we're back to another chain six space, so chain six. Skip over that chain six space and then double crochet once into the top of your next eight double crochets from the previous row.
Now we're at our chain six base, so chain six. And now into our next space, we want to double skip over the chain space and then double crochet once into the top of your next 27 double crochet stitches from the previous row. And then chain six. And double crochet once into the top of your next eight double crochet stitches from the previous row. So we skipped over that chain space. And then chain six. Skip the chain space. And then we want to double crochet once into the top of your next 14 double crochet stitches from the previous row. And then chain six. Skip over the chain six space and then double crochet once into the top of your next eight double crochet stitches from the previous row. And then chain six. Skip over your chain six space and then double crochet once into the top of your next 27 double crochet stitches from the previous row. And then chain six. Skip over the chain six space. Double crochet once into the top of your next eight double crochets from the previous row. And then skip over the chain six space, double crochet once into the top of your next eight double crochet stitches from the previous row. And then chain six. And skip over your chain six space, double crochet once into the top of your next eight double crochet stitches 
from your previous row. And there we are. Now we just want to continue repeating this until we have it at a length. Enough rows added to give the length for the arm in which you're desiring. So now here we've done enough rows to get it the length for across the arms that we're looking for. Now to start doing the front and back uh, around the neck hole. From here we chain two and then turn our work. And then just like we had been doing in the previous rows, we want to double crochet into your next eight stitches. So remember, don't skip one at the very beginning. And then we chain six. Skip over the chain space, double crochet into the next eight stitches. And then chain six. Double crochet into your next, skip the chain space, double crochet into your next eight stitches. Now chain six. Now we're gonna want to skip over the chain space and double crochet once into your next 27 stitches. And then chain six, skip over your chain space, double crochet into your next eight stitches. And then chain six, now we are at the section that had the 14 double crochets, this area would be right over the top of the arm or right over the shoulder. So to make the neck hole, what we're going to do is double crochet once into only the first seven stitches. All right, and then from here, chain two, turn our work, and then we're just gonna continue working the same pattern, double crochet, except for here at the very neck, is only going to be seven stitches for the double crochets, and then rework all the way back, and keep repeating this row over and over, until you have the front opening for the neck hole to the size that you are looking for. So, show you here. Here's the opening where the neck will be. Then our next section coming down is an eight double crochets, remembering your chain six in between. And then 27, eight, eight, an eight, turn and come back up. And repeat this enough times to have the size for the opening that you're looking for. And then once you have that amount, you're gonna wanna count your rows that you had made to make that opening. 
and then come back onto the other half and repeat this entire process up to those same amount of rows coming down this side and make sure not to join them in the center so that you'll be able to fit your head through the hole to be able to wear your garment. And yes, on the one side, go ahead and tie off on the end, but make sure you have enough rows to make it a little bit easier so that you end for that center row on the outside. Otherwise, you'll just have to tie off and reattach. So then we can com come back and rejoin the two halves. Right, so here we are. I've made both sides for the opening of the neck. They're all the same amount of rows. Now mine, because on the second side, I did was able to make it so that it ended on the outside edge. If yours ended on towards the inside, towards the neck, you're gonna wanna tie off from there and then reattach your yarn onto the outside corner. And then from there, you'll want to chain two. Well, here, I'll show you. <laughs> so even if you had to reattach from here, we want to do our chain two, turn, and then double crochet once into each of the next eight stitches. And then our chain six. Skip the chain space. Double crochet into your next eight stitches. And then your chain six. Skip the chain six space. Double crochet into your next eight stitches. Chain six. Skip the chain space. Double crochet into your next 27 stitches. And our chain six, skip over the chain space, double crochet into your next eight stitches. Chain six, skip over the chain space, and then double crochet into your next seven stitches. And then from here, we're just going to, on the other side for the opening of our neck, and we'll just double crochet right into that first stitch, and then the next six stitches after. Then our chain six. And we want to continue all the way down, repeating just like we have for all other previous rows. Skip the chain six, double crochet. This one will be for the next eight stitches. And then we have our chain six. 
double crochet seven, chain six, double crochet eight, chain six, double crochet eight, chain six, double crochet eight, chain six, double crochet eight. then do your chain two and come all the way back. And then here, once we get back to where the opening was, we'll simply double crochet into your next 14. So basically we just went from two pieces back to one. And then for this other side, starting with the next row, you're gonna wanna count your rows that you had made on the other side for the one side of the arm. Count those rows and repeat that same amount of rows after we finish this stitch, because if you look, it really kind of holds that top stitch is where it actually holds. It's nothing in the bottom, so we want to match it up with the next row. So from that row forward is the rows for the arm. 